This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at York Hall here in Bethnal Green. How are you, Savannah Marshall? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really good. Hair's on point. <laughs> like about 12. Um, how are you feeling ahead of your matchroom debut this weekend on a huge pay per view oh, show? Oh, I can't believe I got on it. Um, it's exciting. I can't wait to get, get going now. What can you tell us about your opponent this week? Um, so. I think at the minute it's a Brazilian guy she had. Yeah, about, I can't yeah. remember how many she's had, but a boxer is an amateur. Southpaw, a bit of an handful. So it'll be a good scrap and sort of eight rounds as well. Mm. Um, obviously, uh, your stable mate Huey Fury was on the bill as well mm. in a very tough fight against uh, Alexander Povetkin. Yeah, yeah. How's he been? He's been really good. He, um, he asked me to be his main sparring partner and I just said, oh, I've got to concentrate on. Own, You've got to do your own thing. <laughs> do you know what? Sorry. For a moment, you, I was just like, what? I will help you out when I can. No, but he's, uh, he's in really good shape. He's trained hard. I've seen him really good in sparring, so I'm open. Just, this is his chance to try to learn what, what he's doing. Yeah, he's doing you know, when you kind of you join like a new team, like as in promotional wise, it's like your first fight is usually like, you know, like welcome to match room, you know, have this fight and then we'll look after that. But he's yeah, literally yeah. jumping in straight into the deep end against Povetkin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Fair play to him though. Yeah, honestly, I think, um, I think with Huey, he, he kind of like, when he has to step up, he steps up, do you know what I mean? Mm. I think when you get like someone, like his last fight, he, he just let him like bully him, didn't he? So I think he's learned from that and hopefully he can put on a show. So I was just talking to Eddie Hearn there about you, and obviously plans over the next sort of 12 months, and he's confident in 2020 that the fight with you and Shields will happen. What conversations have you had with Eddie about Clarissa Shields, you and Peter? Me and Peter? Yeah, like you and Peter with Eddie. Um, nothing really, I, don't, I haven't really spoke with Eddie. <laughs> Alright, leave Peter to do that, yeah. Um, I've got this one on Saturday, eight rounds, and then I'm defending my WBA in Newcastle on October the 19th, so it's my first time being in the North East. Okay. And I think I think it might be a WBA final eliminator for a world title. So hopefully get that and then hopefully box again before the end of the year. And then 2020, it could be on. I think it will be on, yeah. Yeah. Have you had any always kind of back and forth with her on Twitter. <laughs> I haven't noticed it. I know we don't usually talk about this. I don't think I've ever brought up Clarissa Shields to you ever. This might be the first time. Maybe. Maybe. Um, have you said any recent... Um, anything happened? Any gossip? Any gossip on that? Like... I don't know, I don't know. I tend not to go on that Twitter. But uh, people tell me things, so I think, hey, she's funny. She's a funny one. What do people tell you? Oh, them. Carissa said this, Carissa said that. Carissa said I was on crack a couple of months ago. Who said that? Carissa said I was on crack. <laughs> I said I could beat her, so she said oh, she must be on crack or something like that. You can confirm that you're probably not. No, I'm not on good, crack. good. Glad to hear it. But um, listen, it's a fight that is inevitable to happen, and I know it doesn't help when idiots like me are kind of just always asking you the same things about it, but until it happens, I'm going to keep asking you, so. Yeah, I don't mind. At the end of the day, she's the most beautiful middleweight champion. She's the best pound for pound in the world, isn't she? So, mention her all you want. So. How often do you think she thinks about you? If you're being honest. Um, I don't know. I think, I think potentially it could be the biggest fight in female boxing. Mm. If it's built up right. So... <laughs> but you've got a job to do on Saturday night before yeah. anything else and then mm -hmm. whatever will materialise in 2020 will happen. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Have you got anything else you'd like to add to Vanna? No, just that I'm feeling good. I'd like to thank my for getting me on the show. I'm over the moon. I'm just sharing it with you. We like to train together. Um, spar together. Spar together. Yeah, that like help hold back. Um, but I'm hoping I've brought months for this fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, we'll catch up with you <laughs> definitely at some point this week. And, uh, yeah, good luck on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. All right, thank yeah, you. Cheers.